All right, day two is about to start, and what have we got? It's not loading. Okay. Don't love that. Is it better? Shit. Hmm. Well, that's not great. Yeah, no kidding. Okay. Uh, looks like it's sort of working. Okay, so we have a list of numbers increasing or decreasing. At least one at most three. Okay. Uh, and then what do we want to do? We want to count the number of safe reports. Data, please. Uh, It's one at most three. And I get some input. Okay, uh, well, yeah, I mean, that was somewhat marred by the data not loading, uh, but fine. So what's going on here? So we are given uh, these lists of integers, and we need to decide which lists are good. So good means they're either, they're sorted low to high or high to low, uh, and in the original order, they step by, you know, any two adjacent things uh, step by at least one and at most three. So, okay, let's check those conditions. So let me just refactor this a bit to uh, handle both part one and part two. Okay. 
one, part two. Okay, so on part one, we want to know just is the original list good? According to these conditions, 257, 328, that looks right. Okay, so we have this definition of a good or safe, I guess, list of numbers, which is that it's either sorted increasing or decreasing, that is, it's either equal to its sort high to low or its sort low to high, and also any adjacent numbers differ by at least one and at most three. Uh, okay, so that's checking this condition. This condition we're saying, uh, do we see anything that's bad? Um, so check all the adjacent pairs, there's n minus one of them. So then in part one, we just need to check if the original list is safe. And then in part two, they say you are allowed to throw out a single number from the list and then see if it can make it safe. So basically try all numbers to throw out, construct the new list without that number. If that one is good, then this whole list is good. And if any of those lists are good for part two, then part two is good. Um, I suppose one might think that I need to check also if the original list was good for part two in case the original list was good, but throwing out any single no list number makes it bad. Um, but I think if you have a good list and you delete the first or last element, it will still be good. So it's fine. So that's it for today. See you tomorrow.